We are in Whiskey Country, USA, man. Yes. Right now we're in Lynchburg, Tennessee, which is home of Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to Jack Daniels. Yeah. Next week we're gonna be in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. Which is the Bourbon the Trail. Bourbon Trail. Yeah. But how do you decide which ones you go to? Yeah. If you go to all of them, you'll go broke. Well, yes. Because you, it's it's expensive to do all these tours. It's slightly repetitive. It is because the process, the process is all is kind of the same. Generally the same. So what we decided to do is we took two of the biggest ones. <laughs> Jack Daniels versus Jim Beam. We're gonna go on both the tours. This week we're gonna go on Jack Daniels. Yes. Next week we're gonna go on Jim Beam, mm -hmm. and we're gonna compare the tours. Not necessarily the whiskey. Correct. Because you're not a good judge of whiskey. I'd be a terrible <laughs> judge of whiskey. Uh. This is actually Tennessee whiskey versus Kentucky bourbon. bourbon. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Which one's gonna win? If I had to predict what you might pick, I'm gonna go out on the limb and say Jim B. Ooh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see if I'm right. Yeah, so we'll take you along. We will start with Jack Daniels. All right, let's Here do we it. go. All right, let's start with Jack Daniels. But first, I want to say that we did the cheapest, well, most inexpensive tour on both sides, mm -hmm. just so we could get a good comparison. Yes, correct. Right. So we'll start with Jack Daniels. The price of Jack Daniels for that tour was $20 per person, but I got $4 off for being military. Correct. So our total price was $36, and that was the dry tour at Jack Daniels. No tasting, anything like that. Yes. It was an hour and a half long tour, about, and really, um, the, the thing that made it unique and different from the Jim Beam was it's not a bourbon. Correct. It's a Tennessee whiskey. Straight whiskey, yeah. And Jim Beam is bourbon. And what makes it whiskey instead of bourbon is they meet all the requirements for bourbon, mm -hmm. but they do an extra step. One more step, yeah. Which is the charcoal filtering. So they talk about how they burn that wood to create the charcoal, mm -hmm. and then how they filter it, and how long they filter it, and how many gallons they filter, and all that stuff. So it was a very interesting process. It was interesting. They showed us their fire brigade. Yeah, that which was is cool. still active. Yeah, and used as recently Billy. as a couple of weeks ago. They yeah, said. you get to go down and you get to see where the water source is. Yeah, where it's coming from. And that's a big reason why Jack Daniel chose this place for his still it was because of the natural water source and the water is being naturally filtered through limestone and that takes out a lot of the additives like iron and other stuff that might take, take make your whiskey taste Tastes bad yeah. it runs through the whole campus it's all over the place that was pretty cool it was like little moats around buildings <laughs> yeah and little streams that are yeah. like just running through the little it feels like a little town yeah, it did. You know, it didn't really, when we first got there, I expected it to be more grand, more like open, rolling, rolling hills, hills kind of distillery type thing. It wasn't really like that. It was kind of more of like a small town feel than yes. like a farm feel. Yeah, still which, beautiful. Yeah, which was so cool. They talk about um, a little bit about, about Jack Daniel, yeah. who there's a statue there where you can see right outside the water source and you can take your picture with him. But this dude only stood five foot two inches. Yeah. <laughs> you were taller than Jack Daniel. By half an inch. <laughs> <laughs> so the statue is not to scale. <laughs> he wanted it to be a little taller. taller. Yeah. <laughs> but then, so that was pretty cool. The place, the office where Jack Daniel worked out of is still there. Yep. Uh, and it's still set up the way that it was back when he worked there. Uh-huh. This, there's a safe in there. Jack, he tries to get into his safe, he can't get in it. He gets frustrated and he kicks the safe. Yeah. Well, when he kicks the safe, he breaks his toe. This toe uh, gets gangrenous. Yes. Very infected. They end up having to take the toe. Then later. The foot. Yeah. Then like half the leg, then the full leg. And even that wasn't enough. Uh, <laughs> the infection has spread to his, his blood. Yep. And ultimately, that kicking of that safe is what killed Jack Daniel. Yeah. Our tour guide was very good. She was fun. I like Very her. knowledgeable. Yeah. Very upbeat. She kept everyone engaged. You get to see a lot of the process. Yes, you do. You get to see the fermentation process, the distillation process, barrel charring, 
bottling, uh, and then you get to go into the barrel houses and see where they store it, where they age their whiskey, but they won't let you film inside. Yes, that's a bummer. You can only film outside, which there's a, there's a lot to film outside, but a lot of the cool stuff was indoors. That we got to see, we didn't get to film. Yeah. So we didn't get to show you. And they won't even let you take still pictures in there. No. No pictures, no video. Once you get done with the tour, it ends in the gift shop. Mm -hmm. There's a little bottle shop. That was the end of the tour. We didn't do any of the tastings and stuff because again, we did the most inexpensive tour. Yeah. And we wanted to have a good comparison. So that was Jack Daniels. Definitely worth going. Lots of fun. Not too too pricey. No. And doesn't take up your whole day. Only about an hour and a half. Yeah. And it's light walking. Not terrible. Yeah, it was less than, I think, like a half a mile walk. Yeah. The barrel house smelled really good. Made me I thought. Made me nauseous. I loved it. Because you can smell all the angel share that's burning yeah. off coming out of the barrels. And, um, so if you don't know the difference between the angel share and the devil's cut, I'll tell you real quick. Angel share is stuff that evaporates out of the barrels or leaks out of the barrels. You'll never get that back, so they call that the angel share. And then the stuff that they, after they take all the whiskey out of the barrel, they squeeze that little bit out of the barrel that's still in there, that's the devil's cut. But you can still drink. They bottle yeah. the devil's cut and actually mm -hmm. sell it as a, as a product. Right. Yes. Um, so anyway, I'm interested to see how this stacks up to Jim Beam. Yeah. I yeah. wonder if Jim Beam will show us more. Maybe they'll show us less. Maybe. So hey. I don't know, we'll find out. Yeah. So stick around, we're heading from here over to uh, Louisville, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and see what old Jim's up to. <laughs> All right, on to Jim Beam. The price at the Jim Beam tour for the most inexpensive tour was $22 per person. But for me, I get in for totally free. Which is phenomenal that they do active and retired military free. And so our total cost was only $22. Mm -hmm. And it included a tasting did include a tasting. So the overall value of the Jim Beam tour is already better than Jack Daniels. Yes, correct. The grounds are beautiful. So phenomenal, very like just royalty when you come in, you feel like. It was exactly what I was expecting when we rolled into a distillery. It's, ex it's exactly what you expect it to look like. Yes, the it's, war of the rolling hills. <laughs> yes, the big barrel houses in the background, the barns, barns, the uh, just the, the the grandeur of it. Yeah, the landscaping, and it was just very cool. Yeah. Um, it is also about an hour and a half tour, and so when they start you off, they start talking about the water that they use, where they get their water source. They talk about a lot of the same things same, that Jack yeah, Daniels. It was very similar in that aspect. Because they're in a spot in Kentucky where their water is also naturally filtered through limestone, mm -hmm. which takes out all the additives. They don't have to do that chemically, which is nice. They talked a little bit more about the barrels than Jack Daniels did. True. They talked about their forests, where they get their barrels from, how the barrels are made, mm -hmm. how they're charred. Um, and how they pick the trees that they use their barrels for. Yeah. Uh, and then they talk about the standards of bourbon, which Jack Daniels didn't talk about because Jack Daniels is not, not a bourbon. bourbon. So Jim Beam talks about how it has to be made in the USA, has to be aged in charred oak barrels, it has to be at least 51% corn, it uh, has to be a max of 125 and a minimum of 80 proof, so it has to be somewhere in there. Yeah. And no additives, additives whatsoever other than water. Correct. They did show us the process at the Jim Beam Distillery. You get to see more of the process at, at Jack I, Daniels. Yes. But you get to film more of it at Jim Beam. Um, they showed us the raw product that's coming out of the still before the barrels, which is very that cool. It's basically cool. moonshine. Yeah. Before it goes into the barrels. Hundreds of gallons yes. pouring out of that yeah. still every day. It was just mind blowing to see that just rolling out of there. Once you get done with talking about the barrels and, and seeing the stuff come out of the still, then they talk about the bottling and you get to see where the, where the bottling process happens. Mm -hmm. And in this tour, they even give you the option to bottle your own bottle. Which I thought was really cool. But it's not Jim Beam. It's Knob Creek. It is Knob Creek. Which is also made by Jim Beam. Correct. Which I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. Either. At the time. But they did the whole thing. They did the bottling. Uh, the corking, the labeling, the dipping of the wax. And you get to put your thumbprint, or any fingerprint really, on yeah. the top while it was still hot. So it customizes the bottle. Yeah. Which is a very cool thing. 
After that, we went into the barrel house and learned more about the aging process of Jim Beam. Um, they have way more barrel houses than Jack Daniels did on yeah. campus. And again, because they produce more whiskey, whiskey. Yeah. Than, Jim, than Jack Daniels does. Uh, and then after we got done with the barrel houses, which was just uh, mind blowing. They were incredible. We got to go to the tasting. Yes, a special little room all set up. <laughs> Your favorite. <laughs> well, yeah, that is my favorite, tasting <laughs> whiskeys and bourbons. Everyone got to try Jim Beam, mm -hmm. Basil Hayden, and Knob Creek. Correct. Which are all made by Jim Beam Distillery. Mm -hmm. After that, they had a few others that you could choose from for your additional one. We chose different ones so that we could taste each other. Correct. The first one was called Legion, and it's not released yet. Yeah brand new brand by Jim Beam where we got an exclusive tasting mm -hmm. of Legion, which was a very good whiskey. It was actually tolerable for me. Which blew me away. Yeah. And then we tried Booker's, <laughs> which was a little stout. Has... There is no dilution. They don't put any water in it after it comes out of the barrel. It comes out of the mm -hmm. barrel and goes into the Whatever bottle. Whatever proof it is, that's what it is. Holy crap. Yeah. And that stuff it, will start your truck. Yeah, when you come out of the tasting room, there's a bar. Yeah, they had free drinks for us. <laughs> in in the shop. Yeah. And the drink of the day was old fashioned, which is my drink of choice anyway. Yeah. So everybody I'll, got it. It was awesome. <laughs> it was great. All in all, um, both great tours. Yes, there's good takeaways from each one. But if you're only gonna spend your money on one tour. I think it's clear who you should go to. Yes. <laughs> and the winner is... Jim Beam. <laughs> I'm Hands surprised. Down. I'm surprised you picked Jim Beam because you had to taste whiskey there. I know. <laughs> but if you remember, in the beginning, I predicted Jim Beam was going to be did. the winner. You did. You called it. And there's, there's lots of reasons why. Yeah. First off was the price. Even though the price of the tour at Jim Beam was two dollars more per person because I got in for free being yeah. military our total cost was a lot less at Jim Beam than it was at Jack Daniels. Exactly. We got to film a lot more at Jim Beam Way more. than we did at Jack Daniels. Yes. We got a tasting included yes. with it at the lowest most inexpensive tour. Yes. The the feel of Jim Beam the landscaping, the feel of it, the open. Just being there is really cool. They have a lot of areas to sit around. Yeah. Like tables and fire tables and stuff. And they got the restaurant on site. Porch swings. And porch swings. And, just, and they got music playing. And it just feels like a cool place to hang out. It does feel a lot cooler. I mean, not that, not that Jack Daniel did a bad job. No, not at all. But Jim Beam was just cool. And I, I got a free old fashioned at the end. So. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean. <laughs> You give me a free old fashioned at the end of the tour, you win. He can be bought with an old fashioned, <laughs> is what he's saying. <laughs> and it was it was also cool that we found a whiskey that you found tolerable, tolerable, which was Legion, which hasn't been released yet. Yeah, and that's just rare. It is rare, and I think actually if you mixed it with something, it'd be even more tolerable. I for think you. it would. Yeah, because you did. You were adding water like crazy <laughs> to, the to all the tasting. Yes, yeah, which made it more tolerable. Lid. Yeah. But um, yeah, so all in all, very cool. We hope you enjoyed mm -hmm. both tours. We enjoyed both tours. We had a blast. They're both worth going on. So we're not saying that one is not worth going on versus the other. They're both really great in their own ways. Yes. But for us, Jim Beam. If you're only going to spend the money to do one distillery tour, that's the one. I would definitely choose Jim Beam. Although that is the only two we've been on. I, there's distilleries all over the Bourbon Trail, all yeah. over Kentucky and Tennessee. So if Jim Beam and Jack Daniels is not your thing, yeah. go to one of those. And I'm sure that it'll be great too. We just, we can't spend thousands of dollars going on every Trying freaking them off. <laughs> <laughs> So we hit the top two. Yeah. That's our take. We hope you uh, liked coming along on the tour. We enjoyed going and taking you along with us for mm -hmm. what we could show you and uh, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know, right down here in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching. See you next time.